another one, you bastard! Brought to you by supporters who probably have better taste than this schmuck. Greetings, Sabatronians! I'm Dr. Lockdown, and, uh, this stream was just fucked. I tried to livestream this, and it just wasn't working. Because my computer's really, really old, it just wasn't having OBS at all, which means until I get my new computer, I don't think I'll be streaming in any capacity. Oh, my phone just went off. And I'm gonna have to silence those notifications, because that's probably direct spoilers. I'm actually really pissed off at this, because, uh... Damn, this is just... Well, I was really hoping to stream this, but alas, I cannot. But I'm going to react to this direct by hook or by crook. Nothing is gonna stop me. Uh, I've already been spoiled on the first thing, which was a uh, Fire Emblem. Everything else is just kind of a mystery to me. I'm still at the live event, just uh, several minutes behind, so I can just kind of watch it all that behind. It's only six minutes right now, and I'm, I'm gonna record this reaction. I don't care if it's live, I don't care if it's any shit. I want to keep my reactions time capsuled, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Wants and hopes and such, uh, I guess, oh, I always want Xenoblade, that would be great. A new Mario game would be fantastic, but I'm really expecting Mario movie trailers and such. Not looking forward to that because I think the Mario movie is fucking stupid, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna have to do what I'm gonna have to do, so let's do this shit. No one is going to stop me from reacting. No one. Fuck you. And I'm gonna start playing now, and let's just hope. Let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best. Yep, changed over. And the COVID thing happens. Now, good. So I just do the COVID thing a little bit after that, and it should all line up with the audio. This is going to be a pretty simple thing, but we'll just have to wait and see. So starting off with Fire Emblem. We'll just have to see how this shit actually works. God, this feels weird. I'm so used to live streaming this, but I suppose not. I wonder what this is going to be like. Uh, yep. At this point, I would be going absolutely crazy because I'm like, Oh, it's the light motif from the series! I wonder if it's going to be in the same time. Oh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Ah. Uh, okay, that, that's, less, that's less interesting. I mean, Musou games are fine and all, but yeah, this isn't... Not really my thing. I prefer a traditional Fire Emblem game. To destroy the irrational power structure. I wonder if this is this going to be like a canon sequel, like a Strikers was, or is this going to be like a retelling of the story? Jeez, Three Houses is getting a lot of love at the moment. I mean, yeah, I get it, but like, make a new Fire Emblem game. You know, come to think of it, this this kind of announcement means that a lot of people are going to be pissed off because Fire Emblem fans are going to see this as another Fire Emblem game. And non Fire Emblem, and, and fi sorry, non Fire Emblem fans are going to see this as just another Fire Emblem game. And Fire Emblem fans are going to be like, this is a turn based, this is a strategy. I mean, it looks nice, they're using the same models, and they've got very nice texturing. Oh, that texturing's not great, but the cell shading's pretty alright. I'm guessing this is just going to be a retelling. Retelling in an anime style, maybe. I know you are prepared to I just, I just really, really hope they don't pull a Final Fantasy VII remake and just um, fix, change the story and make it all meta and shit. That would be pretty bad. Uh, I bet they won't do that. I don't, I don't think they'll do that. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors 3. I guess it's cool that that's good to tie us over until the next Fire Emblem game, but eh, it's not my kind of thing. I respect it though, I respect it. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Let's take a look. Give us Gunman Clive, you sick fucks! <laughs> not quite Gunman Clive, but whatever. This game looks interesting. Uh, more of a Fire Emblem guy, but yeah, this looks fine. It looks okay. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each commanding officer is now voiced, bringing even <laughs> more charm to these characters. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical options. I don't really have much to say. Like it's a, uh, to enemy territory. It's In just an advanced wars game. game. It's a thing like that exists. For a smoother tactical experience. Neat, I suppose. Flex Neat. your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. 
Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Oh, that's cool. Map editors are always lovely. I just, I wish they would have, like, QR code sharing on these things. Like, for simple maps, you don't really need to keep all of them online. Because eventually the service will shut down. Like, you could punch in codes for this old uh, Game Boy game called Cat Rap, and that was really good for sharing level creation. It would be nice if they did that. Wait, No Man's Sky? Oh, okay. Okay. In no man's sky. Light would laminate. Light would laminate. Wait, shit, wrong game. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to have on the Switch. This is the best comeback story in video game history. They really, really did crazy. Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen. And the thing is, this is all gameplay. They don't have to hide it anymore. They don't have to do one planet. This is all purposeful. And even your own place to live. In this living and breathing universe, I dig it. I dig it. Trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vie for territory. Half tempted, but I don't know. I don't know. Wary travelers, and the authorities are ever watchful. Your journey may be fraught with danger, <laughs> and actions have consequences. Trader, fighter, explorer. Ooh. How will you live in Yo, Shinji, get in the robot! It's not an Ava! It's a robot! No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch <laughs> That'd be nice. It's, it's good to have on the Switch. The hell is this? What the fuck? Mario Strikers? Okay! Okay! Wait, this isn't Strikers, it looks like soccer. But okay! Oh, oh fucking K, okay. I dig this. Is it Strikers or is it, I don't know. I like this. There's a new fucking Mario game and it actually looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, it is Strikers. Nice, nice. A five-on-five five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals by dribbling <laughs> teammates, as well as by using tackles. Purple Luigi, isn't that just Waluigi? And crushing special shots. It does seem a little bit floaty using that kind of... What, that kind of, um... That Switch sports game aesthetic that doesn't... That looks a bit toyetic, but... Yeah, I dig it, I dig it. I dig it, I dig it. That'll help you with your strategies. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but yeah, also they're spending a bit like of time speed, on this. So obviously, I'm guessing this isn't a really high intensity speed. game in terms of budget. Second, Probably just a nice low budget sports strength. game, but I imagine it'll turn out pretty well. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and mm. charge it while your opponents are distracted. Hit the net, and you'll score not one, but two goals. I respect the hustle here. I respect the hustle that they're doing this. Fans have wanted this for ages. Up to eight players. Four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. What? Oh, damn. Eight player single system. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. Online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players I dig it, but club. where's Waluigi? So Give us Waluigi! They didn't get into smart. Oh, there he is, there he is. Yeah, I can see him on the screen, bottom of the screen now. Couldn't see him earlier. Ooh, some of those crowd things have pretty choppy animations. <laughs> Guess they had to do that so that everything else looks so good. Oh, well, it, it's background characters. Who really cares about that? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The latest iteration of the Mario Strikers okay. series is coming to Nintendo Next Switch. big thing. We hope you're excited for this Anything Goes Battle Soccer. Give us the big thing. Next, please take a look at this. What we got? What the fuck? Is that Sp Oh yeah, it's Splatoon. I can see the uh, text in the side there. Yep. Splatty Tune. I'm guessing this is for Salmon Run mode? Uh, 
Okay, so salmon runs a thing. I hope they don't limit it to certain times like they did last time. Because it is a bit of a stupid thing. It's a stupid system. I don't know why they had that. What the fuck? What the fuck? Do you know how to do the fish stick? Welcome to the Bethesda forums. We need to show you how to do the fish stick. <laughs> nice that they're expanding on it for the third game though. Because I know it was very, very popular. And good, good trailer by the way. They're showing a lot of the mechanics cleanly and concisely. I don't play Splatoon, but this looks really, really good. This looks really, really polished. Jeez, this looks hella chaotic. This is insane. Now, just don't keep it listed to certain times. Just make it available at all times of the day, and that'll be good. A darker tone to it as well. I can dig it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's Godzilla! Lol. <laughs> Oh, that music cut kind of uh Oh lol, they've even got the Shin Godzilla poster at the back there. Lol. The end of the trailer. Will the inklings and octolings ink or swim? Splatoon 3 will launch this God, the squid pun game is strong with this one. Dear gods. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. What we got? Fonzers at the ready. What the hell is this? I'm sure someone's going crazy over this, but I got no clue. What the hell's this? Some sort of mech thing, but okay. A full remake of the first front mission game is storming onto Nintendo and Switch. And is there... Oh yeah, there we go. There's the gameplay. In this tactical RPG, yeah, this is what I dig about Nintendo. When they, they actually reveal and announce something, there's gameplay shown. They, they know that people actually want gameplay. This looks neat. This looks Keep neat. The upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. I like it. I dig it. Uncover the great story oh no, is she going to speak to the manager? Oh dear. <laughs> Lol. Switch this summer. And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch I guess that works Switch. nice. I don't know what those are, but, you know, mech games are always cool on the Switch. Get set for uh, a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat okay. racer. Every time they do these licensed the games, they, they're always kind of, eh. I know, I, these third-party racing games just don't seem to interest me. Just keep it to Mario Party, personally. Not really my thing, but uh, I respect it, I respect it. To battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. You just know they're gonna chuck in Marvel and Star Wars with a uh, DLC on this. You just know later on it's gonna be like, hey, get the Marvel pack. You get the get the DC, get the uh, Star Wars pack. Wait, did I say DC earlier? I meant Star Wars. I don't know if I said it earlier. I'm just rambling on at this point. Bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. Plus, enjoy cross platform oh, well. play as well as split screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. I guess, this, I guess it's okay for some people who like that, but for me, honestly, who Dive cares? Into these classic franchises what on we Nintendo got? Switch. Unleash oh, the yeah. Force in this classic Star oh. Wars action adventure. Okay, hello there! I've only ever played the DS version, so that's cool! That's cool! 
Never played the uh, full-sized version, only the DS version. Then combine them for even more destructive combos. Use button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original Wii. Nice. You can also duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this shit. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. I like it when they just say, "Hey, old games, pop them on the Switch." Games that people like, pop them on the Switch. The complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed assassins. Ah, yes, the good ones. Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Interact with historical figures. And the ones that are actually good. Across three games, two bonus short films. Assassin's Creed is a good franchise. Assassin's Creed is a good franchise. Assassin's Creed is a good franchise. System on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, and optimized on-screen display. Assassin's Creed: The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. <laughs> Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG battles. This is no Zaku boy. No Zaku. No shit, Big Zam. <laughs> Stop goofing around. <laughs> oh shit, Big Zam. <laughs> oh shit, Big Zam. <laughs> Lol. I haven't built Gunpla in ages. I just haven't been able to at all. SD Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG. What the hell's this? A remaster of the acclaimed RPG. Okay, um, is I still to need to play Chrono Switch Trigger. System. One fateful day, the protagonist Surge wanders into. An I really look, looks like the same engine as so Final Fantasy IX, which I really liked. So I guess I like this. That he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Huh. Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel. Now, can you put Chrono Trigger on the Switch? Because I haven't played it yet, and the DS version is really expansive. Come on! You and the endings that trigger will differ. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Oh. I like when they do so tell a few content because a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, it's just lost to time. So I appreciate that. I don't know what it is, but I appreciate that it's here. Dashes and slashes its way onto Nintendo Switch April 7th. Pre-orders begin today. Might get that. I like that period of RPGs. And there we go, there's the Kirby overview. This game looks really adorable and creepy at the same time. Looks like they're putting a lot of effort into this game. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay, that's kind of silly. Okay, so it's not quite open world, I don't think so, but still looks neat. Looks closer to Mario 3D Worlds. Never played a Kirby game, but this looks neat. This looks neat. It place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Watch him somehow beat God at the ends. That's what I hear he does anyway. Introducing... Mouthful Mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. Narration's a bit condescending though, but oh well. A vending machine to attack with juice cans. This is just so adorable. Or become a piercing cone. <laughs> this is adorable. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. Lol. Enjoy exploring with new moves different from copy abilities. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. <laughs> Not to blob. Not to blob. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's. Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. Resource management. Oh, God. Some people are going to go crazy for this. At Waddle Dee's weapon shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved.
Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range. Nice. That looks like they're really going all out on this. This game seems deceptively simple. It seems like it's just a simple budget game, but I'm seeing a lot of effort being put into this. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. I really dig this. I really dig this. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Creative enemy designs too. What are these enemies trying to do? Ah, uh, yeah. Can Kirby there's DDD. Of course, there's DDD. Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch. I really love the level design for this too. Like, damn, this level design is damn fine. That was Kirby and the Forgotten Land launching later next month. Please look now, please to don't do a Mario trailer after this. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Keep the Mario trailer out of this, please. I don't want to see that shit. Although I know they're going to do it anyway. Nintendo Direct of the viewers. Hello. This is Batter and Otani Shohei. This is Pitcher and Otani Shohei. This is Nintendo Direct. This is the first time we've seen MLB the Show 2022. So, let's see what the hell is this. That's right, Otani son. MLB the Show is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oof. Those graphics look so bad. Who's doing this? Who the hell's doing this? But that's not all. You can even play God, this looks... <laughs> the narrator is so not into this. also earn and use content on any platform where MLB The Show 22 is available. And take your progress on Jeez, this narrator just does not give a flying fuck. friends that play MLB The Show 22 online matches on other consoles, no need to worry. No need to worry. I don't give a shit. Who the hell... Who the hell's doing this? I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Shit. They should have shown the Muppet earlier. <laughs> then it would have made more sense. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. The hell? Three Kingdom Hearts. Ah, uh, why are they clouds? Kingdom Hearts. Why are they clouds? You can literally get this the Troll Trilogy for twenty bucks on PlayStation. You have no excuse. These games are not graphically intensive. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 on Cloud, sure, but everything else can easily work on Switch. Come on, why you gotta do this? Why you gotta fucking do this? All three game collections soars onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Each collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Come on. Ooh, Klonoa! Klonoa is Damn! Coming to Nintendo Switch. Across I hear that the ending for this walls, one is run, terribly jump, sad. And hover, while firing wind bullets to grab and throw enemies. Use each level surroundings to your advantage. I gotta get this. Like, I've been wanting to play this forever. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Take on these great adventures when... It's funny that all these Klonoa PlayStation Fantasy franchises... This is play, This was on PlayStation, Nintendo right? Switch, I, I don't know if it was on GameCube or PlayStation. I, I can't remember. We're what the fuck? What the fuck? Come here often. Holy when shit! You're in for a puzzling treat. In these award-winning games, the Portal Gun is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Switch has games, I guess. Create Holy fuck! Warp to other areas to find... Cake? Uh, still unconfirmed. Lol. You can pass through portals, and so can cubes. Lasers, I'm, a, I'm definitely getting this. Jeez, this this so far this direct is giving me a bunch of games that don't get me incredibly excited, but I'm definitely getting them. Well, except for Kirby, that's actually got me pretty excited. Hearts no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move when portal can. That's nice. That's nice. Nintendo Switch. Nice. A classic comes alive. What the heck is this? Is that an HD pixel style? Kinda, yeah, it's an HD pixel style. This has to be... This has to be something popular, but I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know what this is, but it looks neat. Someone is going nuts over this, but I don't know. But this looks great. I, I love this style of game. I love this style. It it's so, so quaint, so cute. 
previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut. Now in HD 2D. HD 2D is really fucking cool. It's a, such an underutilized style of gameplay. Like, they should really fucking do this more. History. A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West. A wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. You should have never given up your armor. <laughs> I'm not going to say where that's from. I'm not going to spoil it. Seriously, these games aren't that hard to do, but god damn, they look so good. The near future. A youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future. A newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my ah, loyalty voice acting too. Alive, Don't know what that is, but it looks cool and I'm probably gonna get it. Pre-orders begin That looks fucking sweet. How was that? Next up is this. What we got? Tennis. It's a new iteration. <laughs> okay, that's not something I was expecting, but some people are probably getting crazy over that. Okay. Please take a look. Oh, where are the Mies? Where are the Mies? Why did you get rid of the Mies? Why did you have to do this shit? It's ruins. There's no Mies. Why did you have to get rid of the Mies? Oh no. Roll the ball straight ahead, or give it a little curve. I mean, it looks very well made, but Knock your opponent come on! The while attacking and defending. Plus, three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. I get this. I Enjoy bet this will probably play, sell fairly well, but that's eh, not my thing. Respect, respect it, but. Come on, where are the Mies? Come on, where are the Mies? version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Badminton. Seems a bit similar to tennis, but oh well. Right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, Jeez, a lot of net games. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump. Set and spike the ball. Yeah, yeah I, I, I good that they're bringing this to the Switch because I know some people would have been asking for something like that. The game supports local play with. Okay, Boundary Break is gonna Nintendo love system. taking a look at this. As well as online. They're gonna Boundary Break is gonna love taking a zoom out of this. They they're just gonna love it. Play against friends online, or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Try yeah. taking on. Looks this nice, challenge. I suppose. How was that? Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi! Oh, I haven't seen him in a while. Hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. <laughs> wow, Mr. Koizumi, okay. I can see you're ready to play. It's This is trying to go for that style that Nintendo Directs used to have with the humor, but I don't think it's working that well. Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me as well. All right. Why are they spending Let's so much start. time on this, though? It seems a bit weird. Live commentary throughout our match. Yeah, this is a bit of a slow point. You, did you show the trailer and it was good already. Oh, you don't you have to. Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the Takahashi Koizumi team? Oh, they do have Mies. They do have Mies. With Takahashi up front. You just customize the Mies and they go on these bodies. Okay, okay, that serving. makes sense. How will the opposing team react? That's a relief. Okay, now I'm more interested now that it has Mies. Bring back the Mies! Another one's coming. Bring Always back the mother frippin' Mies! Cause I've got some Mies that I like to school! <laughs> the other team saves it and fights back. And they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. <laughs> God, the Mies' facial expressions okay, are adorable. Okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up. And Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball. 
And with the setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores! Yeah, this is going on for a little bit long. They I mean, this is how volleyball works, so you don't really need to. Let's stop our match here. Good thing it didn't go on for too long. Alright, I'll be leaving now. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch. Okay, we got about 10 minutes, so come on. Lay on the good shit. Lay on the good shit. Come on, lay on the good shit. We're playing a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. In addition, we're also planning a second free update this fall that okay, lets you enjoy. Uh, and suddenly Mario Golf is completely pointless. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, We'll be having an online playtest. Okay, that's the game launches. That, that's fair. It's good that they're actually doing that ahead of time. A lot of companies choose not to. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. The online playtest. It's good that they're actually saying, "Hey, please do this." You know, it's a very different attitude to that of most uh, developers. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. For more details. Thank you. That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Now head it out. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch. Give us the good shit. Come on. Oh, apparently this game's pretty popular, but no, oh, it's not my thing. For, for rhythm games, I don't often play them because I'd rather just play a regular instrument. But I understand the appeal of it. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for taiko drums, you'll strive to become a taiko master, along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bopping beats. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Megalovan? <laughs> okay, what the hell? An orchestral version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. Okay. I, what the fuck are they putting Megalovania in this for? Megalovania is just in everything these days. Dobby Fox is just doing everything. God damn. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchan Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. Uh, I can tell a lot of the big band music is MIDI. You can always tell with a lot of those horns and uh, trumpets. Always good. It's better if they always get a real big band. It gives that a much richer sound. Like what they did with the Mario Kart series, with Mario Kart 8. That was the best soundtrack. Best soundtrack. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? The hell's this? The brand new tactical RPG and suddenly RPG haters switched off the presentation and they're like, stop the saying this. Yeah, the game, the name sucks, but the, the game's probably going to be great. Nations, your choices and conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolford, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn I just hope this, they can turn off permadeath. I, I know a lot of people are like, no, you need permadeath for this kind of thing. I don't really care. I don't really care. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. I might actually try the demo later. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead, the delicious last course. Here, you'll explore a brand Let new me guess, Inkwell not included in the Switch Online expansion pass because why would they? It's external. Attacks. Would the be a power move if they Chalice did, but new playable character. Nah, do they probably Take wouldn't. Take down foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course, wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. A oh. Update is coming okay, I was not expecting game. this. All it takes is one hit. Okay. Even from this. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Okay, I'm not playing that, but I appreciate that it's there. Okay. And for players new to the Metroid series, Take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. <laughs> Lol, you mean the Jaff mode difficulty? <laughs> Wait, hang on, no. It's not, it's not five minutes left. No, 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 it's a ten minutes left because I started five minutes late. Lol. I, I forgot that I started this left. I forgot that there's actually a substantial amount of content left in this. I'm stupid. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. 
Okay, what the fuck? Is it gonna be Chrono Trigger? Oh, Earthbound. And that's why they got rid of Gilversunner. And they're still not going to release Mother 3. They're still not going to release Mother 3. <laughs> Would be such a baller move if they actually did release Mother 3 after this, but I doubt they will. Yeah, I'll probably just download it on the Wii U if I still can when I've moved house, but... Oh well. Yeah, they're either going to they're either going to announce that they're either going to not announce Mother Three or they're going to announce it as part of the ex, they're going to announce it as part of the Switch Online service, the ex expansion pack. Hey, they might actually uh, do if they're doing beginnings as well. They might actually do Mother Three. People would go nuts over that. I think they're actually going to do Mother 3. The music's going to fade out and they will actually announce it. Huh. Earthbound nope. And uh. Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online later today. Okay. They're not going to, I guess. Yep. Nope. Oop. Uh, I'm going to have to mute this. Actually, wait. No, I don't have to mute this. I'm recording this. I can mute this all myself. I don't have to worry about any music on this. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> wow. People are probably getting pissed off at No Mother 3. They're probably getting pissed the fuck off. Game looks cool, but I do not know what it is. Okay, so they're not going to have Xenoblade, because the last thing's going to be Zelda. This point, they've got this and then here. Game looks good, but it probably plays like shit, as do all anime games. Fuck. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but who cares? Yep, the one more thing's gonna be what Zelda. The one more thing's gonna be Here's Zelda. News from Mario Kart fans. What? Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 20. Wait, did they announce Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC? We've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series and we'll be releasing them as paid downloads. What the fuck? People have been asking for that shit for years. Okay, what are they bringing back? Oh! Coconut Mall bitches! Holy shit, they're actually bringing that back. Digging the new, um, digging the new remix of that, too. Oh, damn, I'm digging these courses. Oh, shit! DLC courses will be uh, that to that course, I, I forget what the name of that one is. I forget what the name of that course is, but I played on the 3DS, I think. This is the Mario Kart I'm totally getting this, and I know someone else who is, too. You may recognize some courses from past Mario Kart games. <laughs> God, holy shit! Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's what the fuck? We plan on releasing by the Holy of shit! Courses such as Coconut Holy <laughs> fuck, that's a lot of courses! What the hell? Chaco Mountain. Okay. Christ. And Tokyo Blur will be included. Oh no, I didn't recognize that. I thought I recognized that. Of course. You can play these courses locally and online. Look, is that Woohoo Mountain Loop? Oh man, imagine if they brought back Woohoo Island and Woohoo Mountain Loop. That would be amazing. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Fast will launch. Ah, oh, damn, that's that would be 50 bucks for 48 courses. 48 courses for about 50 Aussie bucks. You can enjoy this that is that's a lot of value for money that that expansion pass is expensive but damn that is expensive that's expensive but damn that is worth it I'm not gonna get the expansion pass for the switch online but whatever how was that I hope you're looking for damn that's cool bring back Waluigi pinball you bastards yeah it's gonna be Zelda 
I mean, I like Zelda, but you know what I really, really like. That's not fucking Zelda. What the hell's that? Fighting in order to live. What the fuck? This isn't Zelda. And living to fight. Hang on, I think I recognize this. That's oh my fucking god, this is Xenoblade 3! Holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck? I'm crying here, holy fuck! Oh my! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, this is a prequel to Xenoblade 2, what? Holy shit. Is it a prequel or Xenoblade 3? No! What the fuck? Oh my, oh my god! Oh, I'm fucking teary up with this joy! Holy fuck! Holy shit, this is... Oh my god! Oh wow! Holy fuck! Jesus! Oh my god, this looks so fucking beautiful! It's the- it's the- It's a joined universe! It's a fucking joined universe! Oh! I don't give a shit about Zelda! I don't give a shit about Mario Kart! I don't give a shit about anything else! That's the fucking Orion Ty- and the- IT'S A SHARED UNIVERSE! OH GOD! Holy fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy... Oh god! I... And it's this year! And it's not even at the end of this year! I need to get the tissues. I'm crying tears of joy. Holy fuck! That's all for today. What a way to end! Holy fuck! Oh my god! That was orgasmic! Holy fuck! That was something. Oh, I just saw a Xenoblade 3 trailer! <laughs> Holy fucking Christ! That was amazing! That was amazing! Jesus Christ! I gotta post that right away, holy shit, I'll catch you guys later! <laughs>